Hi booktube. I'm here with a different kind of unwrapping. I got a book in the mail um, and I know I've been expecting this book for like the past three years. To be honest, I've been really kind of impatient with the author. I'm just like, come on, write this book. Come on, write this book. Um, so I'm going to be skipping all the other unwrappings and just read this. I'm not showing you the front because it has my address on it. And it is book four in the Dead Kid Detective Agency by Evan Monday. This is Connect the Scots. I love this series. Um, and I'd say it's like a YA type series. Um, the main character starts out as a 12 year old. Um, and her name's October. So he does, he's also a cartoonist. Oh, there's a bookmark. Um, so there's lots of drawings in there. It's, it's a very funny series. Um, and it's about this girl who accidentally <laughs> raises these kids from the dead. Um, they're ghosts, not zombies. And, um, goes about solving the mysteries of their deaths, because they all kind of died in mysterious ways. And it is amazing. And it also tells you a lot about Canada. Like, here, oh, this is really cool. I'm just going to read the back. <clears throat> it's the fourth time a charm for October Schwartz and her ghost detective friends. While investigating the cause of Tabitha Scott's 1860s death, October and the dead kids discover that Sticksville, Ontario, served as an endpoint for the Underground Railroad, the secret network that helped enslaved people escape to free states in Canada. Fraudulent occult psychics, funeral home ambushes, band wars, the spooky Sticksville fairgrounds, and a history of prejudice all converge in a climactic conclusion that hints a secret society might be behind all manner of catastrophe in October's not-so-boring little town. Um, that's pretty cool. And I've seen a lot of people talk about um, ebooks recently. I just noticed this right here, this little sticker. Um, it says, get the ebook for free with the code inside. So if you buy the print book, you can get the ebook for free. Um, I'd rather have the print book because of the cartoons. So I'm dropping everything and I'm reading this and I'm so very excited for this. Um, and then I just got back from the thrift store, so I just thought I'd show you what I got. Uh, it's Friday, isn't it? So this is my Friday reads. I'm not reading anything but this. Um, and I, I will probably finish it um, in just a few days. Then I'll go back to Across the Universe, which is another YA. It's quite interesting so far. Um, quite like It's like a dystopia that takes place on a spaceship. Um, interesting. Um, and then I have The Prince. Uh, which, um, I realized why I only read excerpts from in the beginning. So I'm skipping, like, the first half of it, which is talking about, like, history and stuff like that. I know. <laughs> and I want to concentrate more on the qualities of a prince or more, as opposed to the conquering of lands. Um, yeah. And I also have, um, I have to finish up the Martian Chronicles. I haven't finished that one yet. But it's really good. I'm just taking my time. Um, cause I've been reading a lot of graphic novels and comics. I'm going to do, a, have to do a whole separate wrap up for that. Um, so anyways, here's, um, what I got at the, at the thrift stores today. So I got this penguin. Oh no, this isn't penguin. Uh, selected poetry of John Keats from the new American library. Um, I don't recall if I have any John Keats, but I wanted this. This has Hyperion and Endymion in it. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I got this little cute book. The dollars the dollar store. The thrift store is having a uh, sale where you get a fill a bag for a dollar for books. So I got this little book of Degas dancers, and it's just little little pictures, details from his work. I like his his art, the kind of unfinished style of that. So I got that. I also got. Winter's Tale, I didn't realize it was this huge, um, by Mark Helprin. This was made into a movie with, um, oh, what's his name? Colin Farrell. Um, and I remember enjoying the movie. So, um, Peter Lake attempts to rob a fortress like mansion on the Upper West Side. Blah, 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 blah. He begins an affair with a middle-aged, oh, he's... He's the middle-aged Irish burglar. He um, begins an affair with a young girl dying of consumption. Oh. And then I got this. I guess it's a middle grade. Uh, the Corpse of the Bare-Boned Plane 
by Polly Horvath. Um, and this is a Canadian book. Yep, and Nancy Press. Um, teenage cousins Maline and Jocelyn are sent to live on a private island with their eccentric uncle following the deaths of their parents. The girls who are barely on speaking terms must find a way to deal with their grief. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I thought that might be really, uh, good to read. Um, I only say it's middle grade because of the cover. I don't know, it might not be middle grade. Oh no, children's prize. Middle grade. Um, <laughs> and then I got this nonfiction, um, the Canon Revisited, Establishing the Origins and Authority of the New Testament Books by Michael J. Kruger. Um, I'm interested in the kind of history of the Bible, and this is talking about um, the study of New Testament canon and its authority looks deeper than the traditional surveys of council and creeds, mining the biblical text ex itself for direction and understanding what the original authors and audiences believed the canon to be distinguishes itself by placing a substantial focus on the theology of canon as the context within which the historical evidence is evaluated and assessed. I don't know if other people are interested in this kind of stuff, but I'm very interested in this kind of stuff. Um, then I got His Bloody Project um, by Graham McCray Burnett. And what drew me to it was that it says documents relating to the case of Roderick McCray. And, uh, it is, it's like, there's, um, statements of the residents, the account of Roderick McRae, the trial, extract from travels. Um, so it's kind of like a thriller, but done through different documents and stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I got this, this was interesting, Walden 2 by uh, B.F. Skinner. Um, yeah. The fictional outline of a modern utopia has been a center of rage and controversy ever since its publication in 1948. Set in the United States, it provocatively pictures a society in which human problems are solved by scientific technology of human conduct and in which many of our contemporary values are obsolete. Um, so I thought that was really kind of cool. Um, and lastly, it's not a book, but it's book related. It's one of my all-time favorite movies, Romeo and Juliet, the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes version. Um, I don't know if I have it on DVD, but <laughs> I had to pick it up because I want to watch it over and over and over again um, and stop it just before they die. Pretend it ends happily ever after because I do that with certain movies. Um, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.